I expected a lot better from the folks that invented Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Harmonix Music VR is a collection of four music-themed VR experiences, none of which are all that interesting or entertaining. It wouldn't be worth $5, much less $25. The easel is Harmonix Music VR's most interesting element, probably because it lets you scratch your own creative itch. It lets you draw with the move controllers in 3D space with dozens of tools and styles, and then manipulate your creations in that same 3D space, with everything you do bopping to the music. It's very similar to the HTC Vive's Tilt Brush, and it's a trip to lean your head inside your creations, but it's a short-lived distraction at best. In the dance, you can manipulate the poses and movements of goofy monsters inside a high school gym, again to the beat of the music. Eat a slice of nearby cake once you're satisfied with your custom dance troupe, and you'll warp behind the DJ's turntable, where you can tweak the speed of the music and shoot goofy items at your poor dancing monster slaves with a toy gun. A final bite of cake puts you into a godlike overhead view. Using the move controllers to grab onto the dancers below and then dunk them through the basketball hoop or fling them into oblivion is amusing for a moment. It's the closest Harmonix Music VR comes to offering actual gameplay, but there's little replay value. The other two modes are barely even interactive. The beach puts you on a polygonal lo-fi island where you set your playlist, choosing from over a dozen Electronica songs, including a selection from Harmonix's own Amplitude. But instead of letting us touch the music, you don't use the Move or the DualShock 4 to play. Instead, you just sit there, watching the equalizer on the horizon pulse to the beat. All you can do is look around, using your head as a mouse pointer to target certain items that will come alive if you lock in on them for a couple seconds. None create much of any surrounding virtual reality effect, because if you turn your head around to look behind you, it just exits you back to the standard beach. It's supposed to be relaxing, I think, but I found it boring. Finally, there's the trip, which also involves no controllers. You just sit there as you move through a kaleidoscopy tunnel that thumps, sort of, in rhythm with your song. I didn't find it so much relaxing, it's just plain weird. If you load MP3s onto a USB stick, you can import any music you want into any of these four modes. Sadly, even 90s favorite Mr. Jones by Counting Crows didn't make any of these music minigames any more bearable. If my friends came over to check out my new $400 VR headset, Harmonix Music VR is the last thing I'd want to show them. For more on PlayStation VR, stick with IGN.